we're cooked guys the game is already being patched before it comes out again we're gonna go over the patch how they ruin the gameplay right all these damn cry babies right mike wang you need to retire my boy it's getting bad i'm gonna show you all the moves that would have been vital in nba 2k25 that are disappearing okay? that are disappearing I, I promise you i was reacting live to the sauce mike wang i'm telling you he was in my stream then he just makes his tweet i was breaking it down i was breaking down the sauce how to get shifty in 25 mike wang had enough he's a joke so Everyone flew out there to this event, got all this gameplay, hyping up all these moves, hyping up all the gameplay, and they're going to change it all. What's the point? What's the point of the event? They're just going to change the game. You're having them come back, edit all these videos, do all this and that, hype up all this and that, and then you're just going to change the game. What's the point? Someone give me, someone tell me, someone tell me. But before we get into everything. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new. We're going to keep you up to date with all the news. Best jump shots, best dribble moves, best builds, most hilarious gameplay. Make sure you like the video, man. Get this video to a thousand likes if you agree with your boy, okay? Now, look, I'm going to show you this cheese that he had enough of, right? Now, look, look at this cornball, right? One thing to note, dribbling, among other things, has changed quite a bit since we made the Community Day build. He's talking about the demo, okay? Several moves, LeBron hot back, and the hezzy drag size up type moves are now gone. Now, I don't care about no damn LeBron hot back, but I know what this creates, guys. A lot of people don't understand the game. I understand the game. I know what happens when he does these little temp patches. When, when he don't get the full cycle, he does the temp patch. When he does the temp patch, the temp restricting, what happens is there's more delays, hitches in the gameplay, unrealistic delays. So maybe with all any type of step back, it's some huge delay. It's corny, bro. Like <laughs> Now, look, the hezzy drag size up escape. I don't even know what this means. Now, I'm going to show you all all these moves. He had enough. He probably didn't even know it was possible to do what people were doing. I'm going to show you the moves. It's so corny, bro. It's unrealistic as hell what he's trying to turn this game into. But it's crazy. Let the game come out. Let's play it. Let's see. Like, let's see if it... Why keep patching the game before it comes out? Why, why even show us what's possible and then just patch it? They did this last year. People always be like, the dribblers, comp guys is crying. No, it is the negative win percent casuals wanting to get everything patched. And they do it every year, bro. Every year, every year. Dribbling, patch, 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 patch. Every year. Now look at this. Badge made a tweet talking about the LeBron hotback. Mike Wayne tweets two hours i don't know if this correlated oh this was just a different build nah you're making patches you're changing the game i'm, I'm not stupid i've been telling people guys stop complaining about dribbling stop taking moves out the game stop <laughs> you're just ruining the game dog you buff the defense this is why we're in the predicament we're in and it's just gonna keep getting worse bro i've been i've been telling people they're they not here look as you can see this was two hours before who knows if it had to do with anything, but this is cooked, bro. Now look, this move right here, it's probably going to be patched. <laughs> it's probably going to be patched. The NBA 2K20. Okay, look. Watch. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Oh, the 2K20. You know, uh, 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 oh, <laughs> it's probably going to be patched. <laughs> There's a lot of other moves I could show y'all. Look, if you want to see my full reaction to all the gameplays, go to my stream and you can see me react to everything. There's so many like moves that Mike Wang's not going to like that he's probably just he's going to change the whole game. bro. But if you want to see what was possible before the game comes out, go check my stream, dog. You feel me? We, we, we broke down the souls. Look, you got Yod, man. He's showing the difference. Look at this. This is apparently the pro play, and now they just gave him the 2K20 behind the back. Um, <laughs> I don't know if they know what they doing or what, man. But, you know, John Morant, he had that one, and now he got the, the top one, you know? Hey, you know, 
I, I love the 2K20 behind the back. I loved it. The 20 dribbling and movement, it was so cooked until we found that move and then they patched it. <laughs> bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. A lot of y'all, you need to just stop playing multiplayer games, man. Just play story mode games, man. It's not for you. It's not for you, dog. You're not competitive, bro. You you can't adapt, man. Y'all y'all gotta. It's not for you, man. You you can't handle it. Just getting on the net, just crying and getting everything patched every year because you're horrible. It's crazy, bro. Oh, look, got that 2K20. Look, y'all see 2K20. See that 2K20 young guy, man. Posted that 2K20. 2K20. Yeah. But yeah, guys, just stop stop doing community day. Look, last year they patched and changed the, the whole game. There was a whole debacle about that. I was trying to tell people the truth. People was like, bro, look, even with the builder stuff, they went and changed all this stuff. What's the point of going out there if you're gonna change it? They come back and sell everyone this game. That's not even the game. What's going on, bro? <laughs> Y'all let me know. Players during my time with this quick play footage and not a mm. single one came even close to competing mm. with the explosiveness you get out of this oh, moving yeah, crossover. You literally just fly through the paint and oh, it crosses geez. over to the opposite ball hand. Oh. So the defense doesn't have time to react. Oh, now I will geez. say this is obviously oh. on Giannis who is six foot 10 and super long, but I just can't see this move not oh, being overpowered God. on a six foot eight <laughs> max wingspan <laughs> ISO build. Oh my god, bruh, this is cheese, bruh. <laughs> nah, bruh, this is crazy. Nah, y'all saying the defense was looking decent. You see when in there, you see when somebody get a little wiggly. <laughs> Yo, hey, bruh, it's cut, bruh. It's cut. Derek, I heard the dribbling is terrible. Derek, I heard you can't speed boost. Shut the f up. Yes, you can. Mm. You can drive. Dribble, you can speed boost. The dribbling is not bad. It's just gonna take some time to get used to. I have Derek, shut up. The dribbling's horrible. Stop it. Talk that real boy. 15 dribble moves that I want to show you, and I promise you, if you watch this video and pay attention, you will have a massive advantage going into NBA 2K25. Let's jump right into this and start with speed boosting. Now, don't get me wrong, speed boosting is a lot different in NBA 2K25. Oh. <laughs> Bro, I've been saying it was like five different speed boosts, bro. Yeah, you know we love Kim Possible. Kim Possible. <laughs> that was that shit back in the day. Who used to watch that Kim Possible? He's so animated, he annoying. Nah, he tried to sell to the market, bro. It's cool. 25. There are two separate ways to speed boost and they are totally different. One is out of your escapes and then the other one is just out of any other move. Uh -huh. Y'all see all these moves, right? And and there's way more. Dirk easily dropped the best video and it's all getting patched, bro. It's horrible. Let's start with the escape. If you tried to speed boost how you did on 24, this is how it looks. Looks absolutely awesome. <laughs> What did I tell y'all? 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 What did what did what did I tell you? Look at this. This, this is what I mean by responsiveness. This is not realistic. You hear what I'm saying? Any other move. Let's Look, start with the this not realistic. Trey Young. They gave him like a 96 ball handle or whatever, right? Think, think. You're telling me Trey Hung Young doesn't have the ability to instantly come out the move and cancel it. He does have the ability. It's restricted to be limited, therefore making it arcade. This is not realistic. You can't just run out right quickly. You can't just, oh, go this way or just this way. <laughs> you, you don't have the true realistic ability. That's why dribbling isn't realistic. That is a genjutsu, slow and clunky is not realism bro trey young i guarantee you going to the, the pickup he can go 
bro stop it bro he's playing versus better defenders he has to reserve his energy he's playing versus top tier guys if you're playing people way beneath you you are going to be able to be if you want to see my full screen come to my twitch this is not realistic okay dribbling is not realistic if you keep saying that you are an npc you're a liar and you don't know what you're talking about bro there are pauses and hitches in the game that make the dribbling unrealistic okay you have to wait for animations to do all this play out that's not realistic dribbling is fast and quick and explosive and it's very shifty okay these are top 0.0001% athletes i see little kids i see little little girls in middle school getting crazy shifty moves you cannot even do in the game bro you telling me trey young can't do that bro i bro i seen a girl coming down the court she did a quick momentum she was like she she hit the ai on she was like Poof! and she went in a circle i'm like damn how's that not in 2k how can this little girl who's not even gonna make it to the wnba do that you banned me two years ago what's your name tired of all that realism talk bro they, you gotta stop the traditional way for some reason even though this move wasn't op they they cooked it bro escape if you tried to speed boost how you did on 24 this is how it looks looks absolutely awful and right burst. so pay attention because i do not want you dribbling like that this is how it's supposed to look when you are speed boosting mm. out of the escape correctly pretty mm. much how this year works is mm. the whole animation plays out before you can even run and when you do run you don't even run fast so it's like what's the point of the escape you actually have to cancel the escape to be able to speed boost now how do you do this let's say the ball is starting in your left hand you're going to be holding your right trigger the entire time you're gonna flick your right stick up diagonal right to hit your escape just like last year and then you're gonna flick it again in that same direction to cancel it and then you're gonna run out of it but you have to angle the left stick kind of diagonal up as well bro there's no way dirk figured this out they're gonna patch it there's no way this works for all moves there's no way nah there's no way there there's no way Pretty much how this year works is the whole animation plays out before you can even run. And when you do run, you don't even run fast. So it's like, what's the point of the escape? You actually have to cancel the escape to be able to speed boost. Now, how do you do this? Let's say the ball is starting in your left hand. You're going to be holding your right trigger the entire time. You're going to flick your right stick up diagonal right to hit your escape just like last year. And then you're going to flick it again in that same direction to cancel it and you still got to let the animation play out. So that's kind of trash still. Bro. And then you're going to run out of it, but you have to angle the left stick kind of diagonal up as well. It was a lot harder for me to get the animation. And I would say close to impossible when the left stick was not at an angle going up in all transparency, the timing on this, to my knowledge, again, with the dribble moves I was provided was actually pretty complicated to get down. I'm not going to lie, but with practice over time, we will all be able able to do this oh i almost forgot shout out to koza he was the first person at community day to figure this out and he taught me how to speed boost out of the escapes now for speed boosting why didn't he drop a video like that no he didn't say that in 2k lab that's strange he done uh told uh dirk the song why didn't he maybe he forgot or something john p kennedy you want to get unbanned you send me a seven sentence paragraph apologizing and telling me how much of a better human I am than you, okay? I want a seven sentence paragraph apology. Oh, look, look, I denied it. I said, find God a girlfriend and touch grass, please. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> bro, I don't even check these. Hey, you send me a seven sentence paragraph apologizing Amenting your treason, tell me at least in four sentences how much of a better human being I am than you, then I'll unban you, okay? That's, that's what we doing. Uh -huh. That's what we doing. Out of other moves. He disrespecting I'm my business. ain't just playing a video game. He's disrespecting my business. Imagine if you had a restaurant and someone came in your restaurant and they're like, you not getting no customers, you know? That's disrespectful as hell. I'm not going to lie to you. 
I did not figure out how to speed boost out of certain things. I had a really hard time figuring out how to speed boost out of the snatch. This is the best one I got and it's still not even that good. And here it is if you just do it completely wrong. But of course, I'm gonna teach you what I did figure out. And the easiest one in my opinion is out of the signature size up. This is a timing thing. As you know, last year, if you wanted to speed boost out of your signature size up with Kyrie Irving dribble style, for example, you just flicked your right stick up and then ran, right? This time there is a delay. You just have to wait, like you wait a millisecond before you actually run. So you're gonna hit your size up, wait a half a second and then run. And remember your left stick is going diagonal up. It was very hard for me to speed boost going side to side. So left stick diagonal up. As far as the other stuff, it's the same thing. There's gonna be a delay before you run. It's just the timing is a little different and I need- That's trash. Yo, JP Kennedy, I told you a seven sentence paragraph. Bro, did you not go to school? Why? Listen, MLA format, proper, capitalization, type better. I said, send it to me on Twitter. Z Swan TZ, baby. Put it all together, capital letters at the appro appropriate places. You're putting like two commas in a sentence, bro. It's run on, write it correctly, send it to my Twitter. I'm gonna type my Twitter for you. You ain't got Twitter, well, you're gonna have to make Twitter. You're gonna have to make Twitter. Or you can send it to me on the Twitch. That's my Twitter. Or you can whisper it to me. But you got some nerve to type like that, man. How old are you? That's why people need to take education serious, man. You need to do a little Google research, you don't have to do it. But no, come on, man. Need to play the game more and practice more to give you guys the actual answer. So make sure you turn on the notice and subscribe. Once I figure this all out, I will definitely be dropping it for you. I heard they took John Wall out of the game, but bro, this is better than John Wall cross in my opinion. Look at the Magic Johnson crossover. Well, I think it's a Magic Johnson crossover, but bro, look how much space I'm creating, especially paired with the left stick cross, how I've been doing in these clips. Just imagine hitting the left stick cross about around the screen and then the magic cross to the basket. I don't know if it's just because the player is big or the crossover is just godly. I think it's godly. And the best thing about this is you can kind of like change. I don't know if it's like that. The Giannis one seemed more OP. Change direction instantly, like going from side straight to the basket. I feel like on 2K24 with the wall cross, you had to be going, you know, relatively straight. It felt like with the Magic Johnson crossover, I could, I could, I was able to cross toward did they have crosses like this in 24? The basket, even though I was kind of still going sideways. I think this is going to be super glitchy. I mean, look at it compared to the uh, De'Aaron Fox crossover. Like, the De'Aaron Fox crossover is definitely still good, but it's not, like, it's not creating as much space and not launching you as much as the Magic. I personally am not going to make my first build without this Magic Johnson crossover. Do y'all remember John Morant aggressive breakdown from 2K24? Well, here it is, but this year you are now able to oh, spam please. it. And I already know someone is going to figure out a glitchy combo with this. Oh, you can spam any other aggressive breakdown combo. And yes, you can speed boost out of it. I didn't get the super fast speed boost, but I did get a decent one. I still got to figure out how to get the super fast one. How you do this is very easy. You're holding your right trigger and just spamming up on your right stick. That is it. If you do the explosive behind the back, like on 2K24, it's just going to give you your signature size up behind the back. Unless some dribble style is going to change this, but to my knowledge, this is how it works. Look at the difference. This is what I'm talking about. That is just me doing his signature size up behind the back. His real behind the back is this right here okay that one see how it's like a completely different animation so if you did not figure out how to do it you're gonna hit a hezzy in that same hand and then go down diagonal right or left to the opposite hand while holding turbo and that's how you get your explosive behind the back to my knowledge jamal murray is not in the game i know there's a lot of people that are happy about that i am not happy about that but anyway i'll find a good Jeez. behind the back for you guys don't worry good news is you John can Moran. still spam your behind the back it's very easy you're holding your right trigger uh -oh. the entire time you're gonna flick your right i wonder why nobody's talking about the l2 cancel i heard the l2 cancels out the game you need to see stizo Bro, Steezo is gonna be doing so much stuff that's not gonna make sense. Stick right to hit your Hezzy. Then you're gonna flick it down diagonal left. Then you're gonna flick it left to hit your Hezzy again. And then down sent diagonal it. Where'd you right send it? back to the other side and just spam that over and over again. Start out slow and then speed it up over time. And this, I literally learned this in 30 seconds. It's not that complicated. Once I figured out the behind the back spam, I was like, I wonder if you could do it with the escape. And would you look at that? I was right. And it's the same thing except of flicking, 
except, excuse me, except flicking your stick down diagonal right or left, you're flicking it up diagonal right or left after you hit the Ezzy. This is like the new version of left stick canceling. I could not get the left stick cancel to work. You probably can still do it, but I, like I said, I need to test the game more. I only dribbled for like two, a little over two hours. I feel like I got a lot of information and figured out a lot of stuff, but there's still a lot more dribbling to be done. To my knowledge, I was Better the only one at Lonzo. Community Day that actually was able to somewhat L2 cancel. It's not pretty. It's absolutely terrible. Like there's no way it's gonna, like doing it like this, there's no way it's gonna be effective unless you like hit them into the screen and then shoot off of it like that. But even then, bro, like, so oh, I still need to figure it. this out. I have a feeling there's a way to speed boost out of it because I technically did L2. Like I did stop in my track and hit the escape in the other direction, but it's definitely not effective or ideal. This needs a lot of work. I have a feeling within a few weeks of the game, people are gonna figure out actually how to use this effectively. You are still able to do a- I wonder a how snatch back spam it's the same thing as the behind the back except down diagonal you're just flicking your right stick down so you're gonna hit your hezzy right stick down hezzy in the other hand right stick down so right down left down right down left down that's how you spam your snatch back start off slow speed it up and you'll be able to spam it at full speed look at the d fox left stick cross bro Woo! that might be the new pro cross in 2k25 not gonna lie but yes the left stick cross is still in the game now this is very unique to this game and this was dependent on the player i was using the angle of the left stick when i was doing this was different like slightly different for all the all of the players excuse me and when you could do it uh was dependent on the player so i assume that's with the dribble stick style and with certain players i could only do it out of moves or like i had to do a move first it was it was very weird just have to play around with it more obviously when the game comes out but the left stick crossing is still in the game this was very interesting to me you guys see that left stick cross it's not a left stick cross it's actually his escape you know it's just like any other escape it isn't new but it's like a new type of animation 24 hour ban you have to get off my tip you're acting like a female begging for attention you're begging for attention. You want me to scream and yell and cuss you out. Shut up. Nobody's disrespecting me. Why would I just be? Shut up, man. Find your dad. Get some attention from your father. Maybe um, come talented at something in your life. You might be able to find more attention. You know? Find your dad. Stop seeking attention on the internet. Trying to trigger people so they yell at you so you can be like, Ah, 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 yeah. I feel special. That's what females do, bro. Try, try to start a fight, argument, see if you care about it. Tighten up, dog. You would do any other one holding the right trigger and going up diagonal right or left on your right stick, and that's the animation I'm getting. Just think Thanks of the combos you can do with this. I'm thinking just off the top of my head around a screen. Left stick cross, this escape, into a snatch back or into a John Wall hot back. Like, you're gonna be wide open. I'm super excited to combo with these types of escapes, and I'm just super excited for 2K25. Drop a like if you're excited as well. Let's get into the next move. I know you guys are gonna be watching this thinking, Dirk, why are you showing this to us? This is stupid. Like, you're not gonna be able to get open off of this, okay? And I'm not gonna lie to you. This is literally just me flicking up and down, right, left, diagonal, whatever, with the left stick. And I can just tell off of the movements oh, and off Steezo. of the spin backs and off of the just everything you can do, you're gonna be able to combo crazy with these. Steezo is about to you. love the dribbling. <laughs> Absolutely love it. The fact that you can dribble. Hey, how come I can't predict, predict everybody? I'm a genius. Mike Wayne tweet, what'd he tweet? And hold yourself backwards. Like, Steezo's about to go crazy, bro. But I just have a feeling the left stick dribbling and the combos you're going to be able to do is about to be glitchy, especially like left writing. Like you guys saw in this first clip right here, I am left writing back and forth. Just imagine doing that around a screen. So, left stick dribbling is probably going to be really OP. We just need to figure out how to use it effectively. Thank you, 2K, for bringing us some type of quick stop slash peek into NBA 2K25. I am not going to lie. These were just okay, and I had a hard time figuring this out. This was one of the last. So is Dirk just better than everybody? I didn't know Dirk was a uh, compy like that. Ty, thanks for the follow. Like, is Dirk just better than everybody? Because it, it seemed like he figured out a lot more stuff than uh, other people. Or maybe he helped uh, create the game. Maybe he flew out there earlier or something. 1v1 and wagers. Yeah, but wasn't that more like a newer thing? It seemed like, you know, because everybody been playing for years. 
last thing I recorded, I literally did this in like a few minutes trying to get it. It's not like the, cre the previous quick stops. I could not do it going horizontal with my um, left stick. I could only do it when I was going diagonal up, just how like you would speed boost. And in my testing, it seemed like I couldn't do it in the middle of a speed boost. It had to like end. Like you could only do it when the speed boost was over. But I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to test it. Speed as soon as I figured out or as soon as my friends figured out, I will for sure drop the tutorial for you guys. The goaded hotback, the LeBron hotback, the wall hotback, whatever you want to call it, Damn, is in the game box. still. I love this move. I think we all do. A lot of people hate it, but I love it. It's so my, it, it, it's so <laughs> good. But anyway, to spam it, it's kind of hard to explain. You basically are just flicking down on your right stick without turbo. Then you're going to move your left stick up right after and then quickly flick down again on your right stick. That's I really can't explain, explain it any better than that. It just has to do with the timing, but that's how you spam it. I found two spin backs. One is this D Fox one. That is the 2K24 Steve Nash spin back. Bro, it's like... It's like Dirk is the only one who really knew what to go look for. And like everyone else is just robot. And then the other one is a left stick spin back, which I did with DeMar DeRozan. This is more of like a Steezo spin back. And I'm really happy that these are both in the game. I cannot wait to combo up with these both. So anyway, to do the Steve Nash one with D Fox, you're just gonna run. And if you're going right, you're gonna be holding turbo the entire time and you're gonna rotate your right stick clockwise. Now, as you're rotating mm. your right stick, you're never letting go of the left stick. Mm. So let's say you're running right, right? So it's already gonna be mm. held up diagonal right. You're gonna slowly rotate it mm. to the top left on your left stick. And it's for the DeMar DeRozan, not gonna lie, completely mm. forgot how I did it. It was an accident. But if I had to guess, mm. it is rotating your left stick clockwise or counterclockwise mm. down toward the other ball hand. All right, I'm gonna be completely transparent and I'm gonna give you my honest thoughts on dribbling on NBA 2K25. First things first, keep in mind, I was just using the NBA player's dribble animations. I could not pick my own custom animations. Also keep in mind that I only dribbled for a little over two hours. As soon as I picked up that virtual- Bro, there's no way he figured out all this stuff in just two hours. It has to be Full basketball, I was like, whoa. Like, look at all the players he's switching. I mean, he's smarter. He didn't, maybe he didn't go play play now. And he just went in here to go test stuff. Maybe that's better. Maybe that's why he did got it. Like, yeah, that's probably why. Because everyone else went to go play. Okay, this is definitely not like 2K24. And it's pretty unique from any other dribble system we've ever had in any NBA 2K. So at first, it's going to feel very different and very strange. Like, we're not used to it. But the more I dribbled and the more I tried things and the more I just played around with it, I started to like it more and more. If I had to make an educated guess, once we all have the game and all of the best players in the world are trying to figure out how to do what and do moves and everything and all of that good stuff, I think the dribbling is going to be good. Could I be wrong? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. All I'm saying is from my first 20 minutes to my last 20 minutes dribbling, I figured out a lot of stuff. And if I figured out a lot of stuff, imagine what the entire community is going to figure out over the course of a year. I wish he would have compared it to 2K instead of just say good. What do y'all think? You still gonna be able to get busy, do stuff, but I just don't like the direction, bro. What's up everybody, this is Koza and welcome back to the 2K Lab channel. Today we will break down the top 10 things we noticed about 2K25 gameplay that you definitely want to know before starting the game. Disclaimer, the game we played was not the finalized version, it could change before official launch, so stay tuned to this channel for changes and updates. For the 2K25 community Koza, day, we did you were able to play me? the play now mode, an oh, online 3v3 oh. my team mode, and the 2K1 like mode previously me. known as the 2KU. So drop a like and subscribe to check oh, more 2K content me. like this, and be sure to check out our website to be best informed on everything inside of 2k25 so here are the top 10 things we noticed first let's talk about the new dribble engine we will later have a full video breaking down the dribbling individually but let's talk about the basics here the controls are very much different but being explosive is definitely still in the game as a ball handle we've seen we were able to explode with multiple different nba players and different animations even including taller players like sga and luca and even centers including victor Wimbanyama. furthermore the dribbling looks to be very realism heavy it's a lot harder to 
to tell when one animation begins and ends as you combo different moves together, making the gameplay overall look more pleasing to the eye. Dribbling overall is very dynamic now, so be sure to have notifications on for when we drop the full dribbling breakdown. The new go-to shots mechanic was something that caught our eye heavily, being you can replicate real NBA footage to a T with most of these. Some look to be better or faster than others, but you can launch explosively out of all of the ones we tested. Similar to the controls of a hop jumper, you would run out of the move right before the player touches the ball with both hands if you were looking to cancel the shot. This makes this one animation alone a very effective move if used correctly. So let's look into Lucas. Why is nobody mentioning how the OG speed boost isn't there? Why is nobody mentioning that? It looks crazy to you? Bro, he's doing the same, bro. He's just push crossing and then he doing the hezzy go. He doing the hezzy burst. I told y'all about that. Then he's push crossing. But having the ball in your right hand going to your left and just bursting out, I have not seen that happen. I seen it with Anthony Edwards. That was the fastest speed boost I seen. But he was going downhill. It was kind of like a weird burst. Um, it don't seem like these guys know about it. I don't know. So thanks for the follow for a second. This animation at the surface looks slower, but this was one of my favorites. So let's break down this play. With Luka, you create separation for the shot, but it's a burst that you can do in either direction that the defender should be scared of. Remember, you're able to cancel the go-to shots and burst in either direction, giving you options on how you want to mm. attack the defense. I start the go-to shot and the defender plays to my ball hand side. A help defender also comes into the play on the right, anticipating me launching to the right. We read the defense and then quickly get into our go-to shot to finish the animation. Another favorite is John Morant's go-to move. If you're into faster moves, this man gets into a shot a lot faster than the other ones that we've seen. Perfect for those people hunting for the mid-range shot. Next, we found that we couldn't dribble into the defender in front of us anymore like we could in previous 2 case. The ball handler would either drop the ball or get a fumble animation. We also noticed that this mm. led to a lot of bump steals. Similar to how you couldn't do a blowout dribble into a defender in previous years, now you can't even do a size up crossover or breakdown combo into them. So the ball physics logic that is incredible if this is true if this is true that is incredible i didn't even know this i, I haven't heard this from nobody. there's just no way someone dribbling in your face and you write in them like that and you lose the ball that that's how 16 was in a way you couldn't uh like say someone got up in you you would have like a slow animation you couldn't burst off that's why these newer 2ks are so bad and there's no defense they took that out on purpose to cater to the negative 1% casuals who couldn't get open. But that's how you could keep up with the speed boost. And 16 had like one of the fastest speed boosts ever, right? You could get up in them and stop all that, right? And make them like stutter step with they dribble. So if that if it's like this now, I don't know if he's saying this. I don't know. But now in these newer 2Ks, you could just dribble, dribble. The guys just fall. You got a barrier around you. You're like pain in his prime. You're like pain in his prime. And then you're like, and then you put them behind you, crab, shoot. That that was not the golden era. You see, this is what people don't understand. You couldn't just have a force field around you and just like, bro, you, you 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 couldn't do that, bro. You can't just you you crab. Like, you know, sometimes it's fun to do, but there was no crabbing. There was no force field throwing people behind you and stuff when they're playing D right on you. I wonder. I wonder if this will be. I wonder how it would be worse, especially with how dribbling not really like that. I wonder if it's if it's gonna be broken. And so hopefully it's it's good. But you drop park yet? Nah looks to be improved. We may be seeing a few pluck steal animations throughout our time playing, but probably three times the bump steals or ball handler turning the ball over after dribbling carelessly. This took some getting used to, so be prepared to dribble more carefully going into 2K25. We did also notice lane steals feeling great with the better defenders and a long wingspan. Using Lonzo ball online. My thing is, this is so major. Why wouldn't they put that in a in the blog why wouldn't they talk about that think about it 
Paradox. Thanks for the follow. It felt great when guessing the passing lanes correctly. We also noticed that defensive lateral movement seemed to keep up much easier with ball carriers. I played online with mostly two-way players, but I felt more on top of things than usual with faster lateral movement. This could just be a result of most players not knowing how to dribble or speed boost yet, so we will have to Fair. hold off on this final decision of defensive movement being better overall. Some of the smaller things we noticed gameplay-wise was how aggressive the dunks were and the small rim pull after the dunk. We noticed players would pull on the rim, making the rim and the backboard move instead of it being more still like previous years. We also mm. heard talks of it being easier to dunk on smaller and low defense defenders with the dunk meter, but we couldn't test Hopefully. this much at the event. So we will definitely look into this with analyzed testing as early as we can. We also noticed a lot of players overall had faster jump shots than they did in 24. We noticed this heavily Hopefully. with KD and Wimbanyama. So if you're a fan of making taller builds, you might be getting some better jump shots heading into 2K25. And we will be testing jump shots as fast as we can to see the speed, make percentages, and green windows as soon as the game officially launches. We noticed that taking advantage of a mismatch were a lot easier. We did have some play now footage show. Is that a mismatch? Wimby just dunking on KD like that? Is that is that realistic? I don't know about that. That was KD, right? I don't think that would happen. I don't know. Maybe I ain't watch enough of Bull. I don't, I don't think that'll happen because that's like a big dog. Yeah, he posterizing him? Nah. This video game, this arcade taking advantage of a mismatch were a lot easier. We did have some play now footage showcasing this, but even on the online sliders and online difficulty, it almost felt like a guaranteed bucket when taking on a mismatch as a bigger player. On the other side of this, we noticed a lot of blocked shots from help defenders. It seemed like defenders mm. could track the ball down a lot better than what we're used to seeing in previous years. Lastly, we noticed a big improvement in the visuals. I myself am not the biggest visual guy, but these visuals definitely brought a good feeling when playing the game. The lighting and the graphics on play like the visuals to be a lot better and mixing that in with heavy realism gameplay felt like watching a real casino NBA thanks game for the follow times. but hey hey here we go again yeah. here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm at made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome dome